Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing marvellously well. I'm sitting here with the rather wonderful Mr. Christian Kohler. How are you, Christian? I'm great. Uh, always a, a pleasure to be on the Produce Like a Pro channel, of course. And I'm very excited because we got an announcement, right? Yeah, we have. We have a we not only have a new mixing competition, but this one's a metal mixing competition with a twist. What would the yeah. twist be? It is actually the first mixing competition that we do with Cola Audio Cult. And um, of course, we have something special. And this time uh, we are traveling back into a completely different age or era of metal production. We're going back to the 90s. We found some multi-tracks, some death metal multi-tracks recorded in a high-end studio back in the 90s. So we're going back more than 25 years to 1997. And that's going to be very, very interesting. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. Now, we were talking earlier uh, before we got on camera that this is recorded on two-inch tape. Uh, yeah. A, a Studer. Um, I don't know which model, but I suppose all Studers are amazing. A80. Oh, A80. I have one. It's over there. I know. I know. I have an A80. I love those. So an A80 but with a Neve 8068. Yes. I think we're flying faders, correct? Yeah. So was it originally also mixed on the same console? I think so. I don't know. It was it was recorded at Sabella Studios in Long Island, a studio that still exists. From I just looked it up. Yeah. So we're talking about a real high end recording from. Not, not only from the 90s, that, that gear is still top notch, of course. So it yep. was recorded, like you said, on a great console with great Neumann microphones uh, into a Studer tape machine. And uh, it is still very, very different from today's metal productions. And that's what, what I think that's what makes this contest so interesting, that we all have the chance to dive back into uh, a time where at least metal was produced very, very differently. And uh, I have just opened the tracks for the first time, and it really took me back into a, yeah, a different age. Because I actually started, like, I was a death metal kid in the 90s, and I started as a guitarist recording in, in studios like that on tape. So I know how, how that was. When I started producing myself, I started with ADATs, but as a musician, it really took me back into the late 90s. Really cool. I did ADATs as well. I used to have a Soundtracks uh, console and three ADATs. I remember those days very, very well. Tascam here and three ADATs uh, as well, late 90s. But, you know, those were, what's interesting about this, like, like, and for all you guys out there who can download the multitracks and mix a song yourselves, is that, um, you know, these days you have a click, you have a DAW, you can edit your tracks, you can copy DIs. stuff. You know, that's, DIs, all, all that kind of samples, stuff. Samples, yeah. I mean, back in the days, recording to analog tape, I even remember when I did that the first time, we had a five-minute song, so I had to play the entire song. There was we, we couldn't even punch in and punch out like you like you could on ADATs. It's a totally different way of recording. And what it really meant that you had to, you know, you, you had to be able to play your shit. You had to rehearse with your band. And so there's a certain vibe on 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 those tracks. i can I can really hear that those guys rehearsed a lot to be able to perform in the studio these days. And I'm not saying that's bad, but these days, of course, you can like cut out single palm mutes and single notes and put things together in your bedroom in your DAW totally different way of making music not only if you're into death metal but if you're if you want to hear like like a great performance with a great vibe and a great flow download those tracks it's gonna be a lot of fun it's funny because you were saying go back in time and i'm thinking sitting there thinking to myself i still i still record like that i still go into rooms <laughs> with big leave consoles and uh, yeah. APIs or, you know, Sunset Sound has their own consoles, but you've recorded at Sunset Sound as well. When does yeah. that come out? That that That's coming yeah. out. Yeah, that's, come, that's also be a great course uh, coming out um, inside uh, Cola Audio Cult, which, by the way, is my metal recording, mixing, mastering academy, in case you don't know. And we got a lot of awesome courses 
one of the courses that will be coming up early next year is me recording drums at sunset sound and reamping bass together with Cameron Webb through Lemmy's original gear. But uh, I don't want to get carried away. Uh, let, let's no. get back to the to the no, mixing. No, this is good though. Just you know, I I think we, we we sometimes forget that people do still use consoles and stuff like that, especially when recording yeah. full drum kits. I mean, right. It's it's a way to go. I have a only have a little mini twelve channel console, but yeah, it does the job. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down the tracks. I'm going to open them up after this, and also if you go to Christian's channel, you'll see him opening up the tracks and talking about it as well. But there's a link down below where you can download the multi tracks. The mixing competition is it's going to be pretty fierce. I just wanted to say fierce. I think it's one of those words <laughs> that I wanted to say. <laughs> and brutal. And, Brutal. That's the word I wanted. Brutal with two O's. That's B-R-O-O-T-A-L. Yeah. The other thing I think is we were talking about, you know, you can mix it any way you like. Make it as modern as you want, but also be aware that this is incredibly well performed and well recorded. The last thing you want to do is like edit the schnizzle out of it, cover it with so many samples that the maybe the original intention and integrity of the drums gets destroyed. Yeah. However, as I say that, if you do something that's absolutely amazing, then all bets are off. Right. But I, I would still love you to work with just the original tracks, if possible. But just like Warren said, do whatever you feel is right for the track. Just make it absolutely amazing, making it so brutal that we love it. Now, we have a special guest um, judge, don't we? Yeah, uh, we will have the amazing James Murphy, who is a legend guitarist and producer, especially for that early age of, of American death metal in the 90s. Uh, so I, ha I bought a lot of records when I was a, when I was a kid with him playing. So he used to play in Testament, in Obituary, in the legendary Death, in Cancer and a few other bands. But he's also a great producer and mixer, and he will be joining me and Warren in a few weeks or months and we will uh yes we will choose the winners of the mixing contest right yeah we're we gonna do that in a few weeks right in a few weeks we we give everybody one month to mix it so remember you okay. can't you can't give us multiple mixes so if it takes you some time to mix it just mix it just spend your time get be happy with it before you submit it the deadline for submissions is friday the 13th yes you heard it right Friday, the 13th of January. The winners will be announced on February the 17th. This contest is valued at over $70,000 in prizes. The first place winner will get an Audient Evo Start Recording Bundle. Also, an Austrian audio microphone, an OC818, and a pair of their headphones, the HIX60s. There'll be speakers from the wonderful Eve Audio, the SC205s. Boger and Digital, all digital products, including an unannounced plug-in. The Leapwing Everything Bundle, OX Sound Soothe 2 and Spiff. Sound Theory Golthos and a Submission Audio plug-in. Plus the full Lancaster Audio IR Bundle, a Cola Audio Cult Lifetime Membership, Promix Academy, everything bundle and produce like a pro lifetime membership. Second place, we'll get an Audient Evo 8, Austrian Audio OC18, and their headphones, the HIX 55s. The speakers are an Eve Audio SC204s, then the Bogren Digital Crim Drums, the Amp Knob Rev C, the Bass Knob STD, Leapwing All the Plugins, OX Sound Soothe 2, Sound Theory Golfos, and Submission Audio's new secret plugin. And of course, Lancaster Audio Everything Bundle, a Cola Audio Cult Lifetime Membership, Promix Academy, all the courses, and another Lifetime Membership to produce like a pro academy. Last but by no means least, the third place winner will get an Audient Evo 4. Austrian Audio OC16, and their headphones, the HIX15s. Eve Audio SC203 speakers, the Bogren Digital Amp Knob Rev C, Bass Knob STD, Leapwing, all their plugins, OX Sound Spith, Submission Audio, new plugin. 
And of course, a lifetime membership to produce like a pro academy, pro mixer academy, everything bundle, all of those amazing courses, a Cola Audio Cult lifetime membership and a Lancaster Audio everything bundle of all of the IRs and plugins. Runners up will win Produce Like a Pro lifetime membership, Cola Audio Cult lifetime membership, Pro Mix Academy Everything Bundle, and the Lancaster Audio Everything Bundle. This is an absolutely huge, huge, huge mixing competition. So Christian, who is the band? The band is, I think they're called Malamore, and they are from New York. Yeah, death metal band from from the '90s, which were the heydays of of the first wave of American death metal. That's what when I got into death metal with bands like Obituary, Cannibal Corpse, D Side, Morbid Angel, Suffocation, and and many other legendary bands. And they were actually they never gained that the popularity of those bands, but they were a professional band. Did a great album. Were touring the U.S. and Canada. Played some shows in Japan. I think they were touring with Suffocation and Dying Fetus, and we actually also have Frank, the ex singer of Suffocation, that many like everybody in death metal knows. He's doing guest vocals on that track that you can mix now. So it includes the normal singer and Frank from Suffocation. But so overall, it's death it's just, metal royalty. Yeah, totally. Uh, but it's a, it's a great <laughs> great track. It's a it's a good song. It's just well performed. Uh, it's it's great. For for me, I suppose you know, in my naive don't know death metal at all, it actually sounds quite classic rock in some ways compared <laughs> with the way compared with the way death metal sounds now because everything now is so like edited over the top. Yeah. Right. It doesn't have that over the top triggered edited, you know, like overproduced sound. That I'm not saying is bad, but it's it's a oh, lot I love it. more a lot more natural. It's a lot more. Hey, here's a band playing. They're not playing live, but here's a band playing. You can hear like the individual individual musicians. So it's it's yeah, you're right. It's very different. What's funny though is there is actually already a trigger track. So they have like two kick drums, one left, one right, and that's going to be problematic for you because those two kick drums sound very different. You will have. Yeah, oh, yeah, they they need some work. One of them sounds great. The other one is like, it took me a lot of EQing to get them get them uh, sound more alike. When you say left or right, do they actually have to be panned left or right? No, no, no. It's just I, I guess ah, okay. they they actually had two physical kick I drums, see. not just a double pedal, but two kick drums in the room. That means two microphones. Those were the days. Which, yeah, those were the days. Not a good idea, if you ask me, and you can hear it there. But um, yep. Those were the days. Anyway, there's also a triggered kick drum track, and it was triggered with an Elise's D4, which was remember the, that well. go, the go-to metal trigger device for It was go-to for everything. For everything. Yeah. Everybody yeah, used right, a D4. For, yeah. 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 So you also got that track, and uh, so use it. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. Great band. Melamore. Very, very exciting. All right. So I'm going to get stuck into the tracks. And you know what? This is the first time that you will see Warren mixing a death metal song. Yes, Warren's going to do a mix. I think you're going to start right now. Are you going to use the SSL? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in real time. So d don't hate me. It's going to be more of an exploration for all of you out there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up on the console. I'm going to go through. We're going to listen to some stuff. We're going to talk about it. So kind of a, like a little breakdown of the tracks, a bit of tuition. I don't think. I am going to be the world's greatest death metal mixer. I think, I, I think you know, that's Christian's territory, not mine. But that's okay. Let's see. Let's let's wait I like and the see, challenge. But, yeah, you're right. I'm also going to do a mix. I'm going to also start mixing probably in two or three days and going to do another video where I break down the tracks one more time and show you my mix. I'm also going to try to stay as, as, as true to the source as possible or... How do you call it? Keep the integrity of yep, integrity, the original. Yep. Yeah, right. Integrity, That's what I'm credibility. Do. Yes. I just want to say thank you to the band, to Mellon Moore for Huge, giving us yeah. those yeah. tracks. So amazing. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, it's amazing. It, it is great to be able to get to... Because for me, mixing DI, Ant Sims, program drums is not much fun. It's not, it's not why, if you look around here, I have all this old gear that I've collected over the last X number of years of my life. I mean... I've, this is exciting for me because it's a genre that I don't work in, but it's recorded in a way that I understand. So we'll see what happens. 
Fun. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> so without further ado, this gets stuck into those tracks. Thanks, Christian. See you soon. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye. Enjoy mixing Malamora and death metal. Make it brutal.